I was born in a country called England, and in my country, we have a queen. You see, she had been the queen my whole life, but England's actually had many different kings and queens over its history. I've never met the queen, but I know, and everyone knows, there's special rules that you must follow when you meet the queen. Rule one, you never turn your back on the queen. You see, if you meet the queen, you have to walk backwards to exit the room. Rule two, whenever you meet the queen and she stands up, everyone else has to stand up. In fact, you always follow the queen's leading. If you're eating dinner with the queen and she stops eating, then everyone has to stop eating. Rule number three, you are not allowed to touch the queen. You can only shake her hand if she offers it first. Those are just a few of the rules. I don't know about you, but it would be really hard to keep track of all those rules if you were to meet someone really important like a king or a queen. But you do those things and you follow those rules because you want to show them respect. It reminds me of our Big God story this week. Towards the end of Jesus' ministry, after about three years of traveling and healing people and teaching them and doing miracles, Jesus arrives back in Jerusalem for the festival of Passover and people were excited. Jesus, the King of Kings, was coming back to Jerusalem and maybe they would see him. Now, maybe people were expecting Jesus to arrive on a fast and big horse, surrounded by an army of guards. But Jesus, he showed up on a donkey, a slow, tired donkey. And when the people saw Jesus, they were so excited that they, they waved these big palm branches and they laid down their garments on the floor for the donkey to ride over. They did this to honor Jesus as their king. And then they shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna. Those words, they mean save us, save us. See, the people, they were desperate for Jesus to save them from the Roman government who were making their life really difficult. The people wanted Jesus to help them fight the Romans, but Jesus didn't come to do that. He came to save them from their sin. You see, in Jesus' time, the donkeys, they were symbols of peace. And that's what Jesus came to bring. He didn't want to fight the Romans. He wanted to defeat the most important enemy, sin. See, Jesus, he's the king of kings. And if you believe this, then you should show him praise and worship with all your energy, just like the people did in today's story. But most importantly, we should trust him and submit to his plan. See, Jesus didn't free people from the Romans at that time, but he did a much greater thing. He saved them from their sin. And he made a way for you and me to be called children of God.